Virgo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading uh, from Born Without Boundaries for general energies for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or wherever Leo affects your natal chart. If you can pick it out, you know where Leo affects you or influences you, then you can apply these energies. This is for November 13th through the 20th of 2019, Leo. We are falling more and more into winter, farther and farther away from our lovely summer. And Leo, I feel a little bit of um, determination and frustration. Uh, this need for, hey, notice me. You need to still pay attention to me. There's something that you feel. There's a little bit of protectiveness here. It's almost like you feel like something primarily... Um, adoration, attention, affection from someone or some group has been waning for you and it's frustrating you. It doesn't seem like you can get to the bottom of it. It doesn't seem like um, it, it, it's, ang it's making you angry. It's making you irritated. It's making you, um, it's making you irritable. It's making you upset. I'm not saying that this is your every day. Um, in fact, you may actually be trying to counter these feelings, especially if you're spiritually sort of enlightened. You're probably trying to counter these feelings with a lot of meditation, a lot of yoga, a lot of uh, self-medication. Uh, not literal medication, of course, but actual like, self-healing, um, yeah, self um, massages, massage therapy, talk therapy, counseling, um, maybe just long, long swims or long drives or listening to your favorite music. But there is a sense of frustration. There's a sense of, there's almost like a duality because I feel you feeling like, yes, I've arrived. I, this is me. And then I also feel it's like, almost like you feel like it's too good to be true or you're like a little bit threatened that once you've gotten this, it's so almost like Gollum with the ring. I know it's not a pretty Im image, but that's what I'm feeling. It's like Gollum with the ring. My precious, my precious, my precious. This almost sense of obsessing over something instead of just enjoying it and letting it be because you've worked very, very hard to get it and you want all the attention for it and you definitely want all the credit and recognition for it. And I haven't pulled the cards yet. This is definitely just what I'm feeling for you is that it's not that you don't have it. It's that you don't have enough of it or something somehow, some way has not been enough for you. Like the abundance has not been what you expected it to be. And it could just very well be that you may be seeing a side of yourself that is insatiable. A side that will, a side that almost kind of um, brings you down, yourself down, self-defeating in a way that it, it will never completely feel like it's done enough or given enough or or has gotten enough, this, this, this sense, and this is good that you're seeing it. Why? Because what it means for you is you recognizing the part of you that you have to get out of your own way. Because the truth is, I think many things are going your way right now. Uh, many things are working in your favor. This is good stuff happening to you. So Leo, I don't want you to, I'm sorry, I just have to um, I don't want you cutting off or curtailing your abundance or not enjoying it to the fullest because you're worried about losing it. And, and that is something that is a gift, a gift from Pluto to make you recognize that darker part of yourself so that you can appease it, you know, take hold of your shadow, accept it and incorporate it back into you and know that your life is actually going pretty darn well this week. So Leo energies, sun, moon and rising, the crowning energy you can't make this up. Be generous of spirit. So in other words, here you are, your own card, your own energy, crowning your reading. What more perfect symbol or sign for you to say that, Leo, everything is all right in your world and you are all good. But this is also a reminder that if you are doubting yourself or in any way, shape or form, not doubting yourself, but feeling like what did I say right before this card came out? You're facing your shadow self. This is a whole self. This is somebody with shadow and all. So this is you coming into your entirety. This is you because you shine so bright you forget that you're still human. And, and you, you're, your ruling planet is the sun. But what does the sun cast? The sun casts shadows. And you have a shadow side too. So this is incorporating your full self and really loving your full self. So this is a wonderful feeling of wholeness for you this week, um, an acceptance of all sides of yourself and maybe a humbling of those 
um, more base or darker aspects. And how do you humble them? Acts of charity, acts of kindness, um, acts, acts of humility and humanity. Um, that will definitely help to bring you back to a grounded sense of, you know, what is my purpose here? Or seeing instantaneously when we do stuff like that, you can see instantaneously how much we actually do mean to the world. And I think that maybe just maybe what you need right now is a little more instantaneous gratification. That sense of, that sense of, yes, I'm, I'm appreciated and I'm appreciated now. And the most wonderful way to do that is through acts of charity and acts of kindness. But this is accepting your whole self as well. This is, this is um, you and your shadow walking hand in hand. You haven't lost it. There's nobody who doesn't have a shadow except those who aren't real or are just shadows themselves. And you are definitely not that. So watch and wait. Leo, this is wonderful energy because watch and, and all of a sudden, like all the cards fall out. This is a watery, more emotional energy that's sort of washing away. Or it's a mentality, like I said, of you being impatient and not wanting to wait anymore. It's like, or it's a message from spirit. And let's read what the other cards have to say that says you don't have to be patient anymore. Your abundance has come in or your wishes have come in or you're finally going to be able to see that productivity that you've been looking out for. When this little seahorse is upside down, he's actually facing in the same direction that that lion is. So this just tells me that your id is now in sync with your ego and that is a very strong position to be in. Here we go. Overcome any obstacle, including the obstacles that you put in your own way with a sense of nervousness or paranoia or um, even even self, self like um, 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 impatience, anything like that. There is a sense of hurry up, make it happen. Let's go. But here is this wonderful Taurian energy. And I don't know if this is an actual person in your life or just a mentality in your life that is actually rooting you and grounding you. For many of you, it may be a Taurus in your life that roots you and grounds you. And, and, and sort of accepts you for everything that you are. And so it's this beautiful energy of helping, helping to helping you to accept everything that you are. Um, this is also a beautiful energy, an energy of uh, this is me. Th that's what this card reminds me of. This is me. So it's uh, I've learned to face all my scars. I've accepted myself for everything that I am. And look at me. I love me. Do you see? Do you see? First of all, let me say this. The lion spirit does not wear a crown. The lion doesn't need a crown. The lion is the crown. You see, he doesn't have, he's the only regal animal that doesn't need to wear a crown because this is the crown. This is the whole self acceptance and love and realization. Like you're not denying any parts of yourself. You accept them all so that you control them all and that you can make the best of them all. But do you see Rhino? Little bitty crown. Now, why does he wear the crown so little? Because it's modesty. It's not about standing out or wielding your power. It's about this, at least for this Rhino spirit, it's very Taurian energy. This could have to do with the Taurus full moon that just passed. That is just, it's still affecting us today. This sense of but here's your fortune and here you have it and it's already there. Somebody supporting you that doesn't take credit for their actions, that, that just wants the best for you. They're, it's a very unconditional support, um, but it's somebody who is absolutely regal in their superior way to love others and superior way to help others. So this is a wonderful person to have in your corner because they don't ask much. They really are a benevolent energy and they don't expect much. But I think, but they... This is the thing. They know they're special. That's, that's the sense of, I don't need a big crown to let me know that I'm special. In fact, the wonderful wreath that I put around me is worth more than a crown because it's, it's natural and it's, it's wholesome and it's abundant and it's actually potential and growth and something that you've invested in that's growing and you've overcome a lot of obstacles to do it. Uh, freedom is yours. Mm. You may be getting out of a relationship or getting out of a situation, leaving it behind. And maybe just maybe 
It's this sense of self, like an old sense of self that you're trying to get away from. You're trying to distance yourself from the way people used to see you to get them to see you the way that you want to be seen moving forward. And you're, you're getting added, agitated that they haven't completely bought into this new persona yet. But you know what? It's going to take time. And you know what? What you have to face is that old persona. You have to turn around. You have to look at it. You have to see what was appealing about that person. You have to own who you were and not be ashamed. Be proud of who you were. Um, not the good kind of pride, not the bad kind of pride. Be proud of who you were. Own who you are. Own everything about it. Like don't try to deny it or walk away from it or pretend that that wasn't you. No, this is you accepting who you are and sharing those aspects of yourself and 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 breaking free from any kind of um, uh, um, not low self-esteem, but self-consciousness about who you used to be or how you used to look. Laying a solid foundation and the time to collaborate. You are either absolutely dealing with an earth sign, either getting into a romantic relationship with an earth sign or collaborating with somebody. They're becoming your business partner and you're starting a business together. But there is definitely this sense of you have found somebody, actual companionship or maybe even a group of friends that is helping you to build your kingdom and build your, your castle. You already have your throne, but this is sort of that mentality of building it out and expanding the dream and expanding your reach. Um, and this is lay a solid foundation. So the best way to lay that solid foundation is put all the puzzle pieces and the two dualities of yourself, put them together. And that's how you get a solid foundation is make them work together to help assist you in building your future. But this is also very Virgo energy, very earth energy, very like very um, steadfast and true and loving. Um, beaver spirit, beavers are natural builders. They're just very good at constructing things that last, like dams work. They do. And they're not only, they're functional and they're homes. They're, they're these wonderful little things that, that, that these beautiful little beavers create. So this is definitely something that came from your heart. And I feel, I have a feeling that you're not just building a business, you're actually building a home. So you're putting together like these uh, arrangements right now to really build your future. Uh, trust the jet, the great mystery. You're diving in head first. This is my deep dive card. This is the card that says you've taken your deep breath and now you're taking the plunge. And it, it does speak to definitely not being afraid of any kind of relationship that you might want to jump into meeting somebody that you let uh, now you're sure. Let's put it this way. hundred percent. Now, Leo, now, now you're sure. I'm going to flip the camera angle around. Hold on one second. So there you are. All, first of all, all of your cards are upright except this watch and wait. So A, there is a sense of impatience, but it also could be just, just a mentality, Leo, of I have waited for this for so freaking long and now I've finally broken through. I've either broken through or I've broken away from or I've broken out of in order to go and move on and my future is within reach. So this is an excellent, encouraging message and also a message of, yeah, you actually did it, Leo. But it's also a dive deep. You just take the plunge. You didn't look around, like head first, you were ready. And it, but it wasn't just a leap of faith. I have to say, this energy implies that you've actually been working on this project or this relationship for quite some time. And it's almost like I finally found someone or yes, I finally broke through. You did, you absolutely did. And I feel like this all just has to, has to do with a sense of yourself. So you could have actually finally, or you finally feel like you have shed that sense of your old self or that old persona. But the only way that you do that, like I said, is accepting that shadow side. You're, it's like letting your shadow side and your emotional side, your shadow side, your receptive side, your feminine side, and your masculine side, your progress sign, your sun side, like letting them face in the same direction. See that? They're, now getting them in sync is what really liberates you to move on to a beautiful, steadfast future. I'm gonna go over to the extended reading, pull a full tarot spread, and do a romance reading. I hope that you join me. See you there.